matter where you are, if we're, if we're talking about identifying a self-defense situation, um, and, and he enters my personal space, if he kind of enters that bubble, just come forward a little bit, you should already be cautious, you should be aware. The, the first thing I do instantly when I've been in situations where people come into my personal space is the first thing you gotta do is, is step back. You're creating, you are creating, you're, you're subtly creating a little distance. You're more importantly giving yourself more adjustment of balance. Um, you also now have a, um, a deflecting hand and a power hand already set up and ready to go. Um, even if it's as it's simple as being like, all right, whoa, 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 calm down, relax, you know, trying to diffuse the situation, not instantly going, hey, what's your problem? Um, you're, 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 you're creating that little bit of, of extra space, which is a really big deal. Um, so first things first, anytime our partners come into that space, I want you to create it. Don't get into the, all right, we're going to have a conversation from here, blah, 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 and we're going to be, you know, because guys, you know, men, this is the men thing to do, is they start puffing their chest out, and they're like, yeah, man, blah, 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 blah. Right. Um, let's try your best to always avoid that. Um, you know, if, if he's going to be like, let's do, do, relax, you know, calm down. Turn, everybody knows somebody that talks with their hands a lot, right? Everybody knows that person. Oh my God, this is crazy. I love doing this, right? Turn into that person for a moment. Um, absolutely, by all means, even if it's not normally you, turn into that person, make it seem like it's you, because now your hands are up and you're in a, b a better place of deflection rather than just being like, hey man, come on, I don't want any trouble. You know, you're, you're instantly like, well, dude, listen, I understand you're upset. We can talk about this, calm down, because now I'm, I'm up here, I'm in a better spot, whereas then all of a sudden, if he does to fire, you know, decide to fire out maybe with a shove or a push or a grab or whatever it is, my hands are loosed up in a more deflective position. Does that make sense? Do you understand so far, follow me. Uh, so, so these are just, just concepts, things to think about. Uh, we are, we'll start with very simple, um, we will go for the, the, the basic shove that starts uh, uh, most engagements. Uh, we'll go through the most common technique, which is the strike and different variations on people trying to strike at us. Um, and then we'll, we'll go through a couple of basic grabs as well. So we'll start with the, the good old the good old fashioned shove, right? Um, so let's say you don't get into your position quick enough and you are in the standing position and he goes for the, and he does the shove. Oh, the shove. Okay, the, the idea is to remember that the, the reason, the, the way a shove works is when they shove you, they're shoving your upper body. It's not like they're going kung fu and shoving you, you know, center line down the middle. They're shoving here, which means keep in mind that it's to push your shoulders back your shoulders come back, your balance tips over the, your, your, your center of gravity, and that's where you start going backwards and tripping down. So the easy thing to do is, first of all, is when he's pushing you, um, when he goes to push, try your best to right your shoulders instantly forward and try and get a foot behind you. Okay, so that way when he does shove me, even if I go a step, I want to be able to be ready to plant down. You know, we actually teach this in our lower ranks, even to our yellow belts, because it's a, uh, to our kids, because it's important to know that when we go, you want to be able to, as quick as you can, get that base position because then you're, you're, you're up and you're a little bit more ready to go. So what you actually have to do right now is stand there with your partner and shove them, okay? And, and you've gotta, you gotta get some trust level here with your partner because you can't just be like, okay, dude, here we go. You gotta be calm, be cool. Give them the big shove, you know, get them used, go ahead. Man. You know, even if you gotta take that moment, just know you can be comfortable while going back. Just because you're throwing off balance and you're going doesn't mean that you're gonna panic it's a matter of knowing, okay, here I go, I need to right myself. That's the first thing you need to do and you need to be prepared for. Obviously, if there's a wall or something behind you and you know you're going into that, protect your head. That's the first thing because as I'm going back, you know, and that stops there, you're gonna, and that would be bad. So, and, so if you know, if you're aware there's an object behind you, protect your head, which is trying to get that, that the shoulders righted up, hip back to be able to stop your momentum, hands up talking like you're that person, okay? So you literally gotta find some room around you, 